hopefully that's the right height. It looks like it is. The smoker's going behind me, that's the upper lid. So here we have the crown board, which acts as an inner lid. Um, just fries that off very gently. We don't want the queen to be underneath. There is no queen on the top on here, which is good. Now, as I said, this colony I caught, I think it's two weeks ago now, and they have already filled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine frames. So these guys are going to need a super or a honey box added on. So I will just, sorry for my shadow, I'll take out a dummy board, which is just a piece of wood. So it gives you more room to move the frames around inside. And I've already broken one of these because the handles are so flimsy. So I remembered that, so pop these off, move that out of the way. And now, hopefully, I'll be able to see again. Sorry for the shadow. So this is this hive, actually very quickly, is what's called the cold way. So the frames are in line with the entrance down here. The warm way is if this was twisted the other way and the frames would run along the entrance. I don't think the bees really give it two hoots about which way it is. So here we have the first frame. I move my shadow out of the way. So usually that is all stores and honey, which it is. You can see it glistening. So that's all honey. So it's even drawn out the end, which is good. Oh, I've been joined by a pigeon. Last week it was a pheasant. So, about the second frame. Turn it around. So yeah, it's honey again. All stores. Glistening. On the other side it'll be the same. It's on the outer edge. So, so far it's all honey. Now again, this is a swarm. So I haven't actually gone through. So I'm pretty sure there was a queen because they were all fanning, making sure she was in here. However, something could have happened, she could have been injured, you never know. So there might be queenless. I doubt it though, because they are bringing in pollen. So this is very heavy. Ah, here we go. Turn it around. So, is there any eggs? I can't see any eggs, but there is pollen. You can see the pollen in the centre with the honey around the outside. But no eggs that I can see inside the cells yet, anyway. Check the other side. Yes, there is eggs. So there is a queen in here. So we'll see if we can find her. And I need to put a blue dot on her. Just so she's easier to find. And I can remember when she was new. So she's not on that frame. So we'll continue checking. That's very heavy. There's a lot of honey on that frame. Out the way. So again. Yep, eggs in the bottom of every cell. So she's definitely in here somewhere. I can't see her on there. And there's pollen, lots of pollen, which is good. Turn the frame around, and just so I can see with you. doesn't appear to be a queen. So you can see how the nest works in the 3D shape. So you have the eggs and larvae in the middle and stores of pollen and honey around the outside. So these guys have been very, very busy. There's lots of honey in here. And I will need to add a super, which is a honey box onto them at some point in the next few days. Which I wasn't expecting to be fair, because I said this is a swarm. They can often take a while to build up. But because the weather's been good, it's been windy, but it's been dry. She's on here again, you can see all the, the pollen. If I just come around to you and talk over the camera. There you go. So you can see the pollen in the middle. Surrounded by honey. I can't see the queen on here. So this is how we turn the frame, okay? So we tilt it, flip it round, bring it down. So you don't shake any stores out, you don't shake any bees off. Again, lots of pollen. 
I don't see the queen. Uh, just make sure. No, just lots of eggs and lots of pollen, which is good. So we'll put that frame back. Which way was it that way? On to the next one. So I'm not losing, losing, using lots of smoke on this colony because they don't really need it. They're nice, calm bees, which is nice. Excuse me, just make sure there's no bees on my fingers. So again, loads of eggs this time. I think, in fact, pretty much every cell where there isn't pollen is occupied with an egg, which is fantastic. Trying to see the queen, see some bees drinking some of the honey that I've just broken. In fact, let's see if I can get that on the camera. Bring it down. So there you go, you can see in the centre. The bees drinking the honey that I've just prized apart. There's a waggle dance going on up here somewhere. Where's she gone? Right in the corner. So you'll see she's doing a figure of eight. So she's vibrating, she'll come back round, watch, there she goes. And vibrates again. Actually, she's doing a circle which means the food that she's telling them is actually close and she's disappeared around the other side. Um, let's see if I can find another baby bee, lady bee, doing a waggle dance. No, there you go. Look out for social distancing. Let's see, we'll turn the frame around. Again, eating the honey that I fries apart. There's the queen. Bingo. She's in the corner. She's coming back up now. There she is. So I'm going to pause the video, catch her and mark her. So I just quickly press my thumb. So there you have the queen in her cage. It's got a little plunger so I can push her up to this mesh and mark her with a pen. So I'm trying to keep it in zoom for you. There she is. She's a nice size queen, nice and chunky. Really nice. The workers know she's in here, look. So I'm going to try and mark her now. I won't be able to do that on camera because I really need to concentrate because I don't want to hurt her, but I'll show you afterwards. There you go, so she's marked. And if you can see the blue on her thorax, she's trying to get out, look. And marked her with a pen, like this. So you push her up against with the plunger gently, get a thorax, one of these squares, and dab the pen. So I'm just letting the ink dry before I let her in. So let's take this off. Keep a close eye on her in case she flies out. There you go. So you can see the blue dab, actually like a little heart, which I didn't mean to do. So there she is, trying to get out. She's cleaning her wing, her left wing, there you go. Oops, there you go. So I'll place her back in the hive, like that. Zoom in. So she should go down. So now we just need to seal them back up again. So stand up. So what I need to do is push the frames back together. You do not want any gaps. Because if there is, they are likely... Oh, she's tried to stick my end of my finger. Oh. Uh, so I tried to push her off so she could survive. But you'll see... Where's my thumb? Will it go into focus or not? There, there you go. See the sting at the end? I did try and help her pull herself off, but it didn't work. So just to ensure that they are off the frames, give them a quick smoke, just to push them down. As I said, if you left gaps in the frames, see the frames are perfectly spaced when they're built. They're called Hoffman frames. I'm guessing Mr. Hoffman designed them. Um, but it means that when they build the wax out, there is what's called two, a bee space either side, which means the bees can work on the frame back to back. So there's enough space for two bees to go up and down. Um, the dummy board button. So there's actually room for another frame in here. Did I take another frame out? No, that was it. Okay, I'm a frame missing actually. So I need to put that back in as well, because otherwise I'll fill this here with brace comb. 
need to get rid of this. There's my trusty hive tool, stainless steel. It's good for scraping and prising apart propolis out of the way. So just take that bit off. Off, 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 off. There you go, bit of brace comb. So now I can put the crown board back on. Maybe on the top. You need to go away, thank you. Lid back on. And there you go. An inspection. That went to plan. Nice to move.